Today is day three of our moving day and we are currently stationed temporarily at an RV place here in Florida until we purchase our land. Some of the plants we managed to move on day one over to that location, but I still have quite a few that need to go. I'm only working with a car right now, so I'm going to stuff as many plants as I can into the car, move them over. Here are some. A pickup truck would have been so helpful right now, but it's fine. We do what we have to do. And this is going to require at least three trips to the RV park, but that's okay. I have this old tarp from an old greenhouse that I once had, and I'm using it just to protect the trunk and the back seats before I put the plants in. All right, that's all I can fit back here. Not very impressive, but we do what we have to do. And here's the rest. All right, so this is round three. Even though it's day four, we didn't move any plants on day two. So this is technically day three of plant moving. And this is how much I was able to fit in the car. And then I have some here in the trunk. And what we have left are these plants here. And I am going to try to fit these into here. And I may not record it, or I might. It might make for some cringe-worthy material. Now this is my husband helping me with our mulberry tree. It was pretty difficult for me to uproot, so I'm really thankful for his help. He's going to add this to the 15-gallon container that was gifted to us by our local plant nursery. It's got some jagged edges, but it was free, so that's fine. Now I'm adding soil and compost to the sides of the container, but I'm not burying this deeper than what it was in the ground. Once I add water to this, the soil level will drop. From here, I'm going to add some mycorrhizae. Those are fungi that colonize the plant's roots in a symbiotic way, and they extend really deep into the soil. The fungal filaments in the soil are basically extensions of the root systems and they absorb nutrients and water in the soil better than the roots do themselves. So I'm going to add this to the cherry tree that we recently uprooted as I know they took a hit when we removed them from the ground. So hopefully the mycorrhizae helps out. And now we're just giving them both a good soak. Here's a little setup. I have the ceramic containers that the pups will go in. The two pups, which are right here. I've got my ash and my machete, which I will be using to remove the pups. I want to cut as close to the mother plant as possible without damaging her root system. So I'm going to cut about right here, right up against the mother plant to release this pup from her. There. I also have my shovel. What I'm doing here is now using my hands to feel how deep these roots go because I'm trying to get to the bottom and I don't want to break off any roots that I don't need to. So I'm trying to do this really gently. Okay, so this was a pretty clean cut and it does have roots on it. So that's a good sign that it'll do good. 
these containers are pretty small but so are the pups and they will not stay here for long they'll probably be in here for about a month maybe two months max and then i will up pot them and eventually put them in the ground and now for the second one here i didn't use the machete i just used the shovel to do a hopefully clean break and pry this up from the ground gently with my hands as i did with the first one This one also has its own little roots, so hopefully this one does well. Now that they're both in their containers, I'm going to add the ash into the containers to help fertilize them and then water them in. Now here's the mother plant. She's a little stressed due to the recent hurricane and storms that came through here. And as I was recording this, I noticed there's another little pup that sprouted. So I'm leaving this here. It's too small for me to try to remove. We got to the RV park pretty late, so the lighting isn't that good. But this is what the setup looks like currently on all sides of the RV, minus maybe two plants. They're probably thinking on this crazy plant lady.